Hey, welcome. This is Rob Hoyt, the Chi Mind Master. I want to congratulate you on your willingness to master Alpha Brainwave Technologies. Today we're doing a program I designed called Traversing Time. It teaches you how to travel into the future, how to travel into the past, how to free up energies, how to get insights, that sort of thing. Remember that quantum physics is getting very close to designing a time machine that can now project a neutron into the space-time continuum. We're getting very close, but we really can't wait for that to happen in the sense that you can master technologies that allow you to travel into time, about both the past and the future. And this is the key technique here that I designed. I've helped a few thousand people do this safely and again, I want to remind you that there's the, what's called the 72-hour rule. Don't do this more than every 72 hours because it's going to stir some things up in a positive way. It's going to free up energies. So you want to let those energies crystallize in their new uh, constellation. That's the way of thinking about it. Okay? This is traversing time. Just settle back and... Be aware that when I talk about your tra traversing time template, all I'm saying is if you're going out into the future, where is that? Space and time are correlated. If you're going back into the past, where is that? Trust your instincts when I mention that to you, and you'll head in the right direction. Thanks a lot. Go ahead. Become a master of time travel, freeing up all those amazing energies. Welcome to Traversing Time, discovering your soul's mysterious history, both future and past history. It's not advisable to listen to this program while driving a car, because you're asked to close your eyes and relax very, very deep. Find a comfortable position, relax, settle back, and open your mind to this traversing time experience. Leave your expectations at the doorway into your traversing time template way today. And each and every time you come to this experience, have no expectations, and you will be pleasantly surprised. It's a way of preparing the body, and the mind, and the spirit. I'd like you to imagine yourself relaxing in a place in nature. And in this place in nature, it could be a beach, a mountaintop retreat, a place alongside a lake, wherever you choose to go to today. In this place, it is the perfect temperature, it is the perfect climate for your curious understandings. Notice the sun shining down. I'm going to count down from 30 to 1. With each downward count, you can feel the sun radiating, shining its way down from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. By the time I reach 1, you will feel deeply relaxed and in a receptive, resourceful, wondrous, deep state of trance. Remember, 
You're in control of all you experience today. I'm just your traversing time tour guide, guiding you along the way. And you can allow that peaceful music to speak to the cells of your body, to speak to your soul, to allow you to just let go. 30. The sun shining down into the top of your head, on the crown of your head, feeling the warmth as it just simply allows you to relax deeper and deeper and deeper. 29. Allowing the sun to shine on the muscles of your face, softening the muscles of your cheekbones, your forehead. The little worry lines in your forehead just seem to smooth out. The jaw going slack. Your breathing is so effortless. It is so effortless. 28. Feel that relaxation moving down your throat, your neck. 27. Each word you hear just helps you to move into a kind of traversing time heaven. 26. Feeling the warm golden rays of the sunshine. Moving into your upper shoulders. Massaging the muscles of your upper shoulders. Penetrating wondrous golden warmth. 25. You're breathing so effortless. 24. The rising, the falling of your chest moves you into a deeper kind of daydreamy state. 23. And that relaxation moves down to your abdomen. Down to your lower abdomen, your whole front torso of your body feeling enveloped in this golden sunshine. 22. And the sun moving deeply into your vital organs, helping your lungs to breathe so much more smoothly, helping your heart to beat so much more calmly. All your vital organs bathing in this golden sunshine. Feel that rhythm. Feel that peace. And you can feel the golden rays of sun focused on your upper spine where your skull is attached to your spine. One deep. Feel it moving down each vertebrae of your spine, lighting up each and every vertebrae, lighting up this energy center. The energy center is on the way down, down, over the curve of your upper back, down, down to your lower back, to your tailbone, just bathing in the golden sunshine, 19, feeling the way the golden rays have just relaxed your entire spine, and your entire musculature of your back, your upper shoulders, upper back, 18, 17, all the way down to the curve of your lower back, 16, down to the muscles of your buttocks, just relaxing, releasing, feeling this calmness, 
as though you were bathing in liquid light. Bathing in liquid light. Fifteen. And you can feel this moving down your upper arms now. The warm rays of the sun shining down onto your upper arms, down to your elbows. Down to your wrists. The arms feeling so very heavy. Thirteen. Moving this golden warmth into the palms of your hands. Into the tips of your tips of your fingers and feel a tingliness. Each and every breath. Relaxing you deeper. You're in charge. You can let go as much as you allow yourself to let go into your own wonderful daydreaming trance. That's right. So wonderfully centered in the circle of now, 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 now. the golden sunshine moving down your outer hips to your upper thighs, nine, each downward count seems to double or triple your relaxation, if you simply allow it to, it's relaxing you, the body, the mind, the spirit. Eight. And it's important to know as this golden sunshine is moved and enveloped and spread throughout most of your body now, that it's the same protected golden sunshine that allows you to journey in the traversing time way, protected, comforted, wisely, journeying today. Seven. Moving down to your kneecaps. Feeling most of your body now surrounded in a bubble of golden light. Six, moving down your calf muscles, softening like wet spaghetti. Five, just allowing yourself to feel peacefully alive, peacefully calm peacefully comforted as it moves down four to your ankles down to the soles of your feet three you are protected you are free to journey in this traversing time way these words speak to the wisest part of the deepest part of the wisest part of the deepest part of you, as this golden sunshine is moving out to the tips of the tips of your toes, and you can feel as though it's completed the loop to really protect you, to really relax you deeper, deeper, deeper. Feeling one with the golden sun, one with your mind and your body and your spirit, one. And in a moment, it will be time to traverse in time, to be taking a journey back in time. But before you begin to make that journey back in time, it's important that you ask your spirit Ask your unconscious mind if it's okay to take this traversing time journey today, as relaxed as you are right now. Ask the question, am I ready to understand my soul's history today? And as you ask this question, your head will move in an affirmative way or in a way that says it's not ready. Notice the answer. 
if you are ready and you've given permission for this journey today, we will begin to move back in time. Eventually, we begin to move forward in time in whichever direction way that you store your traversing time template today. If at any reason, for any reason, you've been given the negative answer, no, it's okay. You can stop this experience now and be prepared at some other point along the way. But if you've been given permission, your unconscious mind has given you a yes answer, and your spirit has given you a yes answer, it is time now. Notice there is a mist before you. A mist has appeared before you. And from this mist, walking right from the center of this mist, is the keeper of your past memories. You will see him or her coming towards you. He or she is going to begin to take you back in time as the keeper of your past memories and understands the direction of your traversing time past temple. Take his or her hand now and going to begin to float and to fly up above. And if at any point you feel a need to come back, you can simply ask this guy to bring you back into the circle of now and you'll be brought back to the circle of now instantaneously. Knowing this to be the truth, you will find it will not need to exercise this option. But if you ever need to come back to now at any point along the way, you simply say now to your guide and you will come back to now. Let's begin the journey back, or the journey to the past part of your traversing time template. Floating up now, floating up now. You've walked through the doorway with your guide, going back, going back, going back. Allowing the keeper of your memories, allowing the keeper of your past memories to begin to move you towards memories that it feels you need to know. It could be memories of this lifetime or memories of many lifetimes ago, as many as thousands and thousands of lives ago. And just going back in time, you will begin to see flashes of memory. You will begin to see elements of your past and particles of your past that have been left back there or left in that past part of your traversing time experience in the past. And as you may feel as though you're drifting into a dream, drifting into a dream time, going back, back in time. Time is flowing in the way that moves you towards the past. You're above the past, you're floating with your guide. And you will sit calmly and observe a memory. And you may have a memory as you see it as though watching it on a movie screen. And in this way, study what it is you're meant to know from observing this memory. Let go of your conscious ego mind. And let what flows to you flow to you in time. A discovering of your soul's history. A discovering of your soul's mysterious history. Do not in any way Move your mind into this experience. Allow the passage and the recovery of this memory time to occur in a clean way. To occur in a clean way. To occur, it's occurring in a clean way. What do you see? What are you experiencing? What do you smell? What are the aromas of this time? What are the tastes of this time? What are the feelings of this time? Study the, study the multi-sensory dimensions of this time. What are you coming to know now? What are you coming to know now? What? Are you coming to know now? In this time free of words, as the music seems to play in such an interesting way, your 
your guide is pointing things out that you need to know. Your guide is showing you things that you used to know and helping you to remember the past, helping you to recall fragments of your past, whether it's this lifetime or other lifetimes, and you're beginning to bring home fragments of energies that once were yours. And it's important to know why it is you need to know this, why it is you need to know that, why it is you need to know this time. It's time. Allow your guide to teach your mind, to teach your body, to teach your soul what it already knows, what it already knows. You're just remembering what you've forgotten. 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 So in this memory time, time temple of the past is showing you, is teaching you, is reaching you. And you can feel as though the molecules have come back home. The subatomic particles that were there and spread out and diverse and dispersed are coming back home now. Coming back home now. There's a deeper wisdom. A deeper knowing. traveler had been lost at sea for so long and found the navigational charts and maps and found a way back home. The journey, a feeling of being at home again, at home again. The traversing time temple past is your friend. It is your friend. And sense the wisdom, sense the knowing. Be prepared that you may find out things that you did not know, that you knew. That you may come to understandings that you least expected to know about you. And this is important. 
because biography is biology. That's right. When you understand the past, you learn from the past, and you cease the repetitious repeating of old patterns when you know and understand. Because you see, the traversing time, temple, past understandings are at your command. Each and every journey that you come back to this time, or you come back to the past, wherever that may be, the doorway, the template, the understanding, the wisdom, you gain more and more knowledge, you gain more and more understanding, you gain more and more energy, you gain more and more and more and more, you know, you know. Times you may get flashes of memory that occur at 186,252 miles per second or even faster. And in that flash, you get so much information, so much information. And you feel the accommodation of this information now, as though it is just shifting and accommodating, like when you first buy a pair of Levi's and you break them in and they get more and more comfortable. Well, your traversing time template past is now adjusting this new understanding, this new information, this new decision you've made about yourself. And allow that just to continue to assimilate, to continue to just settle down in whatever way it does deep down inside you. While that's occurring, and that's doing that in whatever way it is, I want you to humbly begin to fly forward till you reach the circle of now, until you're floating, holding your traversing time past guide's hand. And when you reach that point where you're just in that circle of now and you're floating and you're hovering and you're aware and you realize you've taken a journey back to that place to old times and you've learned so much that's helping the powers of your mind, the powers of your spirit, the powers of your body, you can now let go of your past traversing time guy, knowing that he or she will be waiting for you each time you come to this part of your journey. Bow humbly to him or her. Thank him or her for what she has taught you or he has taught you. And here comes, out of the mist, out of the mist comes your future traversing time template guide. Take his or her hand now. You understand now. And you understand this is about future memories. It's not just about plans and goals and things you want to accomplish, but it's about futuristic understandings. Your soul has the capability and capacity to know things from the future. Thomas Edison information. Information about your future life, maybe in the year 4000 or 5000 or 7000 AD. I want you to now begin that journey. Walk through the doorway into the future. Walk through the doorway into the future and now you're being floating. Flow through that doorway now with your traversing time future guide. You know you're safe at any time you need to come back. You can simply say the word now and you'll come back to now at any point in time. But begin that journey out into the future. 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 And there are things you need to know. Your unconscious and your spiritual mind want to teach you things that you need to know. You need to know about this future lifetime. It could be the lifetime of many thousands of future lifetimes from now. I want you to begin to take that journey way out there floating as far out as you wish to go and as you are floating and flying you can feel the cosmic wind you can sense this you can begin this journey you can understand that there's understandings there's information there's wisdom it's so advanced it's so advanced and you are reaching out into that arena you're learning some things about yourself that are amazing that will in some ways be beyond your conscious mind's capability in the sense that your conscious mind cannot fully fathom and understand the fact that you are now journeying out to future lives. See what you see. See what you see. Hear what you hear. Feel what you feel. There are aromas, there are tastes, there are multi-sensory informations that come to you here there may be people, there may be inventions, there may be technologies, there may be understandings, advanced understandings, great empath understandings. Study them. Learn. 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 
information is stored in powerful ways, like powerfully flowing light, completely transcending the speed of light. And you could be studying as though you're studying books that don't have books. Information is not encapsulated in any sort of media. It's just there and you're soaking and absorbing it. As so though you're laying in liquid light, you're laying in liquid light, you're laying in liquid light. Whatever it is that you're understanding, whatever it is that you're... It's sort of like a cosmic dream. Just be the cosmic dream and learn the cosmic learnings. The book of all books, the wisest of all the wisest, out here. In this time free of words, free of fear, see what you've come to know. Feel what you're coming to know. Hear what you're coming to know. And simply The light is brought to the light within the light of the depth of you. So the light communicates to the light that's the core of your subatomic levels and that brings that information eventually to the body, brings that information eventually to the brain, brings that information eventually to the mind. And it's amazing because it's not about being more special than anybody else. It's really about just your ability to, to be centered, your ability to have an energy that can make a difference when you interact with other people. And a technological Understanding. Thomas Edison was able to tap into the future by going into the dream state and being able to bring these in innovations. And the innovation could be something technological, it could be just something about how to better our, our way of being as people, help us to advance. You understand what I mean. So trust the power of your trance and whatever you're learning from your deep traversing time and future guide right now. The keeper of your future memories, the keeper of your future memories, the keeper of your future memories is unveiling these as though you had walked into a powerful time machine and you've been able to. Understand futuristic things in ways that amaze your mind, amaze your mind, amaze your mind, you're amazing your mind, you're amazing your mind, you're amazing your spirit. That's right. Traversing time, traversing time, traversing time. It is about time. And it's as though you're going to some kind of university at the universe, and the university at the universe is teaching you so many different things in amazing ways. You could be taking 18, 15, 14, 55 different courses at the same moment in time because in the futuristic way you've been able to move outside and transcend the limits of your conscious mind, transcend the limits of your subconscious mind, just transcend the limits of your mind. You know it is about time. It is about time. It is about time. So you could be taking 55, you could be taking 95 courses all at once, 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 all at once. You understand that? You understand that? I mean, the power. 
power of your traversing time future dream, the power of your traversing time future dream, the power of your traversing time future dream, sound, 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 sound. sound. Mm -hmm. There's so much that you remember, there's so much that's coming to you in a way. And I, a few days, a few days in real time, you'll be able to take this understanding and understand it in the next couple of days. You'll be amazed at what your conscious mind can saturate and understand in such amazing ways. So, each time you come to this traverse in time future experience, what you'll find is you'll find out something new. You'll find out something new about you. And what you'll also understand the importance of traverse in time is to live here and be here now. Live and be here now. Live and be here now. So as you begin to make that journey back, you begin to make that journey back to the circle of now, having taken this journey out of the future time, having learned something about future lifetimes or the future of this lifetime, you want to think about some of the things you wish to accomplish, some of the goals. So as you, you begin floating back gently, you're going to think about some of the things, some of the goals, some of your financial goals, some of your spiritual goals, some of your physical goals, some of your dharmic goals, that is, dharmic goals, goals of your purpose, things that you wish to do that are purpose-oriented. And you'll begin to think and have flashes of these as though they were futuristic memories, as though you're remembering the future, you're remembering the future, you are remembering the future, you are remembering the future. And those flashes will be wonderful splashes on your brain, but these flashes on your brain so that it's a reality. You just find yourself heading in that direction, heading towards those events and accomplishing those events in ways that are amazing because it seems as though your brain has been saturated with light. And your brain has been saturated with light because it has. And your whole body has been lit up in a powerful way and amazing futuristic memories. Here today, here today, here today, here now today. And as you're floating gently now, just above the traversing time now circle, your futuristic traversing time guide lets go of your hand. You, you thank him or her, you bow humbly, so that next time, maybe even more memories come to you, maybe even more understandings come to you. And in this humble way, you begin floating gently down into the circle of now, allowing your new body of knowledge to incorporate the futuristic understandings that you've come to understand, or that you're coming to understand, to incorporate the past soul discovery, history, mystery understandings, to incorporate that you're coming to understand, or that you're, you've understood, or that you're understanding. And just as though falling asleep for a while, as though laying in a hammock, just, just calmly, quietly, allow yourself to incorporate what you've learned. Taking the dreams from the dream states of the future and the past, and having a dream about those two states, but dream them here and now. And over the course of the next few minutes, you'll be making those connections. synaptic connections in your brain, the connections in your body at the deepest quantum molecular cellular level, you're making connections at the energy level, you're making connections at the chakra level, you're making connections at the vortex of energy level, and it's amazing what you've understood, traversing time, knowing the template, the T3 and the understandings that have come to you, the past, the future, the present, how they seem to bring you information that seems as though there is no barrier between the past, the future, and the present. And you've been able to transcend the barriers of the past, the future, and the present as though they are just one time zone. One time zone that you experience as here and now, here and now, here and now. Make these connections for your words, for your words. Making these connections for your words. Now. Love of the future.
future love from the past, multiplying the effects of the light energy of love, multiplying the effects of the light energy of love, 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 the intelligence, find the intelligence, saturated throughout your body, saturated throughout your mind, saturated throughout your spirit, feel it, you have traversed time. You have traversed time. You are traversing time. traversing time experience at bedtime. You can fall asleep in the circle of now, but know that the circle of now is a wonderful amalgamation of the past, the present, and the future. You'll understand. The most important, powerful message is not just to be here now, but as Edgar Casey said, be love now. Be love now. Loving in your actions, loving in your thoughts, loving in your deeds, loving towards yourself, loving towards others. And go ahead. Embrace the Edison mindset. Futuristic ideas come to you as though they are on the wind, on the wind. Trust your traversing time understandings. If you're listening at bedtime, Ignore any suggestions to awaken. Awaken in the morning. Each journey brings you greater and greater wisdom, greater and greater understanding, greater and greater knowledge. You know. You know. And your guides always show you what you need to know to help your growth. You're growing and knowing. Listening at bedtime. Good night. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to ten. When I reach ten, you'll come back. You may feel a need to write down, to journal, to draw, to capture some of your understandings. Whenever they come to you, simply capture them in whatever way is most convenient for you. You are discovering your soul's mysterious history. You're, you're a pioneer. You're discovering. You are a pioneer. Begin that journey back gently, comfortably. When I reach 10, you'll open your eyes, feeling so centered, 
soul-centered. You know what I mean. Whole-centered. Why? As though you've been on a powerful, traversing time dream, because you have. Two, you've learned so much about you and humankind in our evolution. Three, and even the past energies. Four, are freeing. Five, the future energies are freeing. You're feeling more and more alive. Six, remember, you have welcomed home. That dispersed energy that once used to roam, it used to roam. It's welcomed home, here and now. Be loved now, here and now. Be loved now. Seven, eight, feeling better than great. Nine, trust in your traversing time, understanding. And ten, open your eyes. Where is now? Where is then? You're so very wise, you needn't ask the question. Just live the answer. Live the answer. Be love now. Congratulations. You're mastering the space time continuum. I wish you continued progress and I hope and I know that you're continuing to evolve and in so doing are helping humankind to evolve as well. Welcome back. This is Rob Hoyt, the Chi Mind Master, wishing you only the best and remember to be love now.